here's here's the thing with John Jones. We haven't seen enough of him at heavyweight. We've only seen what, how long was that fight? Like a minute or two with with Gone. So we've seen basically a minute of him at heavyweight. Pavlovich, I will be honest, I totally underestimated him. And, and not that I underestimated him like I didn't think he could beat Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades got knocked out by Derek Lewis. Just based on that alone, that's what made me think that Pavlovich would probably be able to beat him. But if Curtis Blades gets him to the ground, it's gonna be tough to get that knockout. At the same time, this is heavyweight we're talking about. I mean, these boys are swanging. These guys throwing heat. I thought it would be like, Curtis Blades is gonna do what Curtis Blades does when he needs to win the fight and just lay on him and, you know, stall. But Pavlovich, man, that was an impressive win. I mean, it only took him three minutes and it makes you wonder what, what would it look like him versus John Jones? After watching Cyril Gaon versus John Jones, don't really know enough about John striking to really say where it's at. I don't I don't know what his striking looks like at heavyweight. I really don't. I don't think we got enough of it to really make a decision on that. Here's here's the thing with John Jones. We haven't seen enough of him at heavyweight. We've only seen what, how long was that fight? Like a minute or two with with Gone. So we've seen basically a minute of him at heavyweight. Now, when we see him versus Stipe, Stipe. Here's the thing I worry about with Stipe. He's not young. So how is his chin? He got knocked out by Nganu. Nganu's power compared to John Jones' power. Nganu obviously has more power at heavyweight. That's his whole thing. That's what his career was built off of, his power. He can knock people out. I don't think Jones has anywhere near that power when it comes to striking. I think that his strengths with a lot of those guys at heavyweight are with his his grappling and just, and just his fight IQ in general. And you know, he's he's good in the clinch, he's good on the ground, he's good everywhere, but he's not a heavyweight. I don't know what that looks like with Pavlovich, and we just saw Pavlovich go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best wrestler in the division. So what do you do with that? I don't know. Now, is Jones a better wrestler than Curtis Blades? Probably, I would say so. But at heavyweight, I don't know. But here's the thing, and here's why it doesn't matter. Pavlovich and John Jones will probably never fight. I'm not even 100% convinced that Jones is gonna fight Stipe. Yeah, as far as I know, everything's good, and, and hopefully we have a fight and with him and Stipe very soon. I hope it happens. I hope Jones, you know, doesn't just dip. Like you go and you beat the perfect stylistic matchup for you in the division win the belt and then leave? No. Maybe John Jones and Stipe fight. Now, do either of those guys even want to fight anymore? I don't even think so. I really would be surprised if that fight goes through. I, I just wonder what John Jones can do to like the top five at heavyweight. That's what I wonder. Stipe, he's got a lot of skills. Probably the most skills of anyone in the division. He has power, he has wrestling, he has it. He has everything. I he's love got him that too. immigrant mentality. I just don't know with him being at his age, if he's still the same Stipe, I don't know. And by the same Stipe, I mean a Stipe that can beat John Jones. I think Stipe could still beat most of the people in the division against a guy like Nganu and against a guy like John Jones, I don't know. But what I do know is that Pavlovich and Jones are never gonna fight. <laughs> if John Jones fights Stipe, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be his last fight. What more do you want from John Jones? What else does he need to do? I don't blame him if he retires after Stipe. I don't blame him if he retires now. I'll be mad about it because it's like, really dude? But I can't be mad at him for it because it's like, what the heck else do you need to do? He did everything that he needs to do already. He won the belt in both divisions, had the best career at light heavyweight we've ever seen, despite all the controversy and all that stuff, which I have my feelings about that. But besides that, if you take away all that stuff, John Jones has had the most impressive career we've ever seen in MMA. I don't think that he's gonna keep doing this for that much longer. And I think if you think he's gonna keep going, then it's like, why? I could get on board with Stipe being the greatest heavyweight of all time. If he beats Stipe, why would he keep doing this? So yeah, he's not gonna fight Pavlovich. It's, he's just not. I think that Jones is gonna fight Stipe, maybe, if that fight happens. And then if that fight happens, and even if Jones wins, most likely probably will, I would say that Pavlovich and somebody like maybe Gon will fight for like the vacant title.
or something like that. I think that's probably what would happen. Or maybe he fights somebody. I'm trying to think of somebody else. Gosh, this division is kind of a mess. I was just talking about last week how featherweight is a mess. No, heavyweight is a mess.